And thanks for being with us. Good afternoon. I'm Tim Seaman. And I'm Bridget Bennett. From kids working on their homework to farmers working in their fields, broadband service has become a critical part of everyday life for every American. But high-speed internet service is still only a dream for many rural communities. One issue is broadband mapping. Bree Jackson shows us how the FCC is working to fix that problem in today's top story. In many parts of the country, those broadband coverage maps you can find online are flat out wrong. If we don't know where the gap is in service, we can't serve it. Lynn's Follinsby with U.S. Telecom says their first of its kind pilot program found significant flaws in current broadband maps. In Virginia, for example, we found that the census block location counts were inaccurate about 50% of the time. And that's preventing communities from getting the necessary funding to improve service. FCC Chairman Ajit Pai says his agency uses the maps to distribute resources. Well, if an entire census block is considered served when only one house actually gets broadband, that doesn't do any anyone any favors. Earlier this month, the FCC approved changes to the way it determines where money for broadband service goes. That includes upgrades to its data collection system. To include crowdsourcing so that third parties or American consumers can let us know uh, if the broadband maps are inaccurate. In addition, Pi says the FCC is working with federal, state, and local lawmakers, as well as other stakeholders, on legislation to improve the accuracy of broadband maps. Fallensby believes their findings can provide a pathway to solutions. If you know where all of the Americans are, then service providers can plan to build to them. Lawmakers say closing the digital divide is a top priority. And plan to have hearings on broadband mapping when they return next month. In Washington, Bree Jackson.